The term game changer to me means starting something new that no one else is doing. Really disrupting a set way of doing things. Food demand is always up. There's always food needed everywhere. It is a new solution to really help with food security and in food scarce countries. And that's where we come in. That's the solution we bring to the table at the end of the day. Due to climate change, this industry has boomed. I mean, that really started the, the whole industry for indoor farming, you know, to really have food security and to look after food security. I am an entrepreneur, and I always have a passion of, of making stuff happen. The indoor farming sector just pulled my attention five, six, seven years ago. I started investigating into it, traveled throughout the whole world, looked at different setups and, and systems, because we wanted to bring farms to entrepreneurs to South Africa and have people understand that it can be done. You know, you don't have to sit on a farm in the middle of nowhere. You know, you can now literally come and start a farm in the middle of the city. Indoor farming is just basically a climate controlled environment and where you can grow any food in an indoor facility, in a basement of a building or second stories of a building. It's just a new method of agriculture that, that we're bringing to the table. So there's a perception in the market that this is a very expensive way of farming and the layout cost is, is substantially higher than what you would do out in the field. But that's not the case. It's actually similar to that. The only difference is now that you are protected from all the elements, whether that be rain or hail or insects or uh, pests. That's where we come in and that's what makes it easier to farm with these methods because it's you're in a controlled environment. And we actually bring food closer to the market, fresh, healthier food closer to the market. People have the concept of uh, organic is to grow in the soil, and that is correct, but um, it can be done in the hydroponic system as well. So what you're seeing here is a, is a hydroponic system grown under full spectrum LED grow lights. So it's not like the traditional methods of farming where you use soil and the sunlight. We're actually supplementing sunlight with the, the grow lights and it allows us to, to grow food a lot quicker. We can get food quicker to the consumer. It takes us around about 28 to 32 days depending on the variety that we're growing from seed. Well, our biggest hurdle in this industry is our uh, power supply in South Africa. We always try and tell our customers, first prize is to put these systems onto solar systems. The, the return on investment is great on solar. And yeah, within three years, you can basically pay off a solar system and then you will be growing the food for free, basically. Your only cost will then be in the nutrients and then the grow plugs and the seeds. You know, there's definitely synergy between the renewable energy and indoor farming, absolutely. I mean, specifically on, on our continent, there's definitely an opportunity for, for us to fuse together and, and do something going forward. According to the stats, they, they reckon that in 2050, 70% of all the population will be living in, in cities and all the agricultural land that's available around these cities will become suburbs. So it's a necessity for, for these farms to, to be implemented in each city. You can grow whatever variety of food closer to city, closer to the homes, closer to, to, to the population. I wouldn't say I'm a game changer, but I will say that what we're doing here is game changing. And um, I'm pretty sure that within the future, you know, our kids' kids will be farming from these systems all around the world. And they would not even know that we actually had traditional ways of farming. You know, this will become the new norm.